Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Mermail Master coming at you guys from the Team Time Riders YouTube channel today with a deck profile from the long awaited Phoenix King. Now, if you guys remember correctly, the last time this man did a Fire King deck profile, you all, you guys all ate it up. And now, with the new support card, he has picked up his playset and is now ready to bring you his updated profile on Fire Kings. This deck is amazing. It's got a lot of potential and power right now. And, you know, he's managed to make a, a strategy that really, really works, especially in the current meta. So, um, let's get this profile started. Is there anything you want to say before we get into it? I'm so waiting for this guy to get on back. <laughs> yeah, R.I.P. Evil Swarm Exiton Knight. Yep. All right. So uh, let's uh, let's get into the profile. What do you say? All right. I'm gonna start off with the monsters. I used to play two Kirins, but due to uh, current meta, I cut him down to one. He still works great for uh, being a full sparrow for my deck. Triple baby Garunixes, because the defense is too good. Uh, also, trolling your opponent is hilarious. Meet the newest addition to my Fire Kings, Boa Baboons, best uh, hand rig ever. And the best combo I do with him is destroying him in Fire King Island, which special summons two of him, and I haven't done a normal summon yet. Next, you got the main heart and soul of the deck. Triple Fire King Avatar Barongs. When he is destroyed, you can add a Fire King card from your deck to your hand during the next standby phase. Still a uh, best card ever. I cut down to Yaksha to 1 because I wanted to put more stuff into the deck to make synergy, give it that ultimate uh, fire effect from high Fire Kings. Yeah. And meet the newest proud member of the Fire Kings. Fire King Avatar. Arigata. Basically, he is a walking strike and a reborn, all in one. The only thing he doesn't have is that he can special summon himself if the Fire King Monster is destroyed by a card effect, which I wish it has, but then again, we're talking about a monster that destroys, uh, or doesn't destroy, negates card of monster effects at the cost of destroying a Fire King or basically any fire monster in your uh, hand or field. And of course, I got two wolf parks to go to my rank 4 place. Two is more than enough for me. And I love this card so much. And what would the Fire Kings be about their sacred phoenix to destroy all the traps when the special summon? Even though the downside is that it destroys spells and traps on my field too, but with him, I could negate that effect, but he can still get these special summons. Good for getting to a rank 8 place if I have Garunix already on the field. Of course, triple Garunix, because you really want to go for the double Garunix loop first turn, and I have done it plenty of times. And a new proud member I would like to say is True King Vanisher. So easy to special summon, destroys two monsters in my hand, boom, slaps them to the field. And since they're always going to be fire, I can just banish a random card, no, banish a monster, or, yeah, banish a monster on my point side of the field. And 2900 attack points is kind of beefy. Now we move on to the spells. I always have played two lots of the Fire King. Just, it is uh, not cluggy at all at two. Helps me out sometimes. What's not cloggy still is three circles. Uh, very easy effect. Target a fire monster, I control any fire monster. Brings back a fire monster in my graveyard. Since it's a quick play spell card, you can play it during battle phase. Triple islands, because it's their homelands, they have their home field advantage, they know what to do. Three tankies now, because now it's more beast warriors. 
Yeah. Double tinsels because I have an extra normal summon is lovable and I absolutely love this card. One Dark Hulk because it was at two but now it's on one. Damn you Konami. One Rekindling because it's at one which is okay because I have Soul Charge in case I don't draw into it. My newest addition is Strength Up Magic the seventh one. Don't worry if I draw this in my first opening hand. Uh, he can fix that. That's all for my spells. Now for my traps, one torrential tribute cuts is that one, and I'm still playing the three blazings because I really, but my deck is still burning each other and I gain back. Move on to the extra deck. One brother of the fire fist tiger king. I mainly use them to negate all monster effects that are, that are not beast warriors, and I can set a fire formation when it exceeds summon. Helps me search out my fire formations when I really need it. Yeah. Uh, tornado Dragon. Basically, an MST, no cost, just detach. Gaga Cowboy, you go into those quick OTKs. Uh, Silent Honor Dark, because of the 7th one, and of course I have to play 1 to 1. Game back life points because of him. Number 84, Pain Gainer. Uh, I'm going to explain why. Number 82, Harley and Drago. Uh, very simple. Detach, I can attack you directly. And if I control a face up spell card, you can't target him for battle. He is so good. Seventh one to make. Yeah. He basically helps me get into seventh one. Very broken card. Help. My Fire Kings love this guy so much because he just stays there. And number 71, only because he can help revive back my number monsters from my graveyard that my Gorunix may have uh, killed and I really want back. Number 58, Cook the Cook. Basically, sort of like what he does, but only destroys cards I control, and if there are monsters, he gains 300 attack points for each monster that was destroyed. And if he's the only card I control, he is unaffected by card effects. He has helped me won a couple of duels before my Fire Kings. I gotta say, I love this guy. Number 71, Try Hit Dust Dragon. I'm just testing him out. I sometimes. Uh, I only made him one time, but he is kind of useful, but I'm just waiting for a better other rank 4 to go into, just swap him out. I still make number 49 fortune tune. I still sum him more times monsters in my extra deck than anything else. Then, this new guy that just came out recently, number 41, Baguska. Everybody should know what he does. Defense, I'm a skill drain. Yeah, that's mostly, mostly why everybody's playing him. Uh, what else? I play number... His only purpose of, of getting Puppet of Strings is to go into him, and then him. That's only his only purpose. And then, I love this guy very much. Try number 38, Hope, Harbor of Titanic, Galaxy. Ah, negate a spell card, absorb it. My opponent targets a monster with low attack points, trying to kill me. Detach exceeds material, he becomes new target, goes into damage calculation. Yeah. That's all for my Fire Kings. I will most likely want to put him instead of try hit, but God knows when he'll come back. Alright, well, is there anything else you want to say to the viewers? 
Yeah. Sorry for the wake up. It's my Fire Kings been struggling to uh, Steve, guys. compete to the new meta. Now with uh, the new support of Vata, they're better than ever, and Vanisher helps very so much. Yeah, the Fire Kings not that bad. So uh, guys, so uh, please like and subscribe to Team Time Runners. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Get back to us, and we'll get back to you all.